climate change. What are the first things you envision when you think about these two words? Hurricanes? Droughts? Melting ice? For years, we've heard so much about changes in climate and have reported on extreme weather, but something has been missing. We wanted to see the faces of the people who are directly impacted by these changes on a daily basis, even while the eyes of the world look elsewhere. So we decided to go to the edge of the world, to the last frontier, Alaska. We flew to Anchorage, saw the largest airport moose, and decided to drive north. We saw caribou in the snow, in the middle of, well, nowhere. And more and more snow. At that point, to be honest, we did question whether or not climate change was actually happening. So we drove some more to Fairbanks. And met a scientist, Tor Jorgensen, who has been studying climate change for decades. Here in Alaska, we see these changes, and they are important global harbingers of changes to happen. Temperatures are warming here faster than in any other place on the globe. This year, the world's most famous sled dog race, the Iditarod, had to start from Fairbanks because there was barely any snow in Anchorage. But we were more interested in what's happening closer to the finish line, near the Bering Strait a place on the edge of the continent where only a few communities managed to live or survive. A community other Alaskans had talked to us about. They are very real. They live on the edge of what most Americans would think is even inhabitable. They've lived there for thousands of years. And well, yes, Nome does feel like the edge of the world. And besides waiting for the race to arrive, or flying a kite, daily life, as you see, can be really enthralling. But the people here may be experiencing first what millions of people across the world will in the coming days, months, and years. Drastic temperature changes, melting ice, rising sea levels, my concern is not only for the communities in Alaska who are deeply connected to the places where they live, but for the millions of people all over the world who are going to be affected by the exact same issue and were completely unprepared. Both nature and man has a hard time adapting to these changes when they happen very rapidly. We heard that even further north, an island city by the name of Shishmaref was on its last sticks as coastal erosion, melting sea ice, and extreme storms were closer and closer to wiping the island off the map. We wanted to meet the few families living in Shishmaref to see how their changing climate was affecting their way of life and spend days with them to try to understand how they live 40 degrees below zero in the winter, and with the risk of seeing their homes fall into the sea every summer. This is our issue as being human beings on this planet. You are not what you are because of yourself. You are what you are because of the community that you have around you. 